we are the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre and so am I and so is he. And today we're going to be looking at digital rights management. Wow, most boring thing we have ever made a video about ever. This affects you, does it? Does it? Yes, digital rights management affects you because, because my digits have rights. And that's how I managed a given. Uh, di digital rights management is any technology that inhibits the use of digital content in any way not desired or intended by the content provider. What would be the, be the point of that? Well, say I wrote a book. You have written a book. I have. The Socks comic book, volume two of which will be available in print and on Kindle by Christmas. Thank you for asking. Now, say I'd written this book. You have written this book. I have. And you wanted to read it. You would. I would read it. You, well, yes. But you would buy a copy. And would you not give me a free one? I mean, I am in it. I did help you do it all. Okay, in this instance, I would give you all the time I spent, all the blood, toil, tears and sweat I expended helping you write this stupid book and you want me to pay for the copy. Okay, okay, I don't want you to pay. Okay, you can have a freebie. I'll just get it. There you go, there's your free copy. Thank there you go, there's your free copy. Bollocks. There you go, there's your free copy. This is number one, sorry, I thought this is up. Did you take that? That's volume number one, yeah well no, volume number, could you take that? Volume number two is not printed yet, will be in time for Christmas. The point is, now you've got a copy of it, get rid of it. Now you've got a copy of my book, right? Now, say your mate Steve wanted to borrow it. What would you do? I'd say, no, Steve, you buy a copy on sale in time for Christmas. Yes, but just assuming you wanted to lend it to him. Why would I want to lend it to him? Did he write it? Has he stood by you through thick and thin? No, 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 but I mean, I've been here all this time while well, you've been performing this nonsense on stage and everyone said, what is this crap? It's like a cross between the Muppets and Abbott and Costello and Hello Cheeky. No, he didn't do that. He can buy a copy. Yeah, but supposing he wanted to borrow a copy and you wanted, do people say that? Who said that? Who said what? All about us being like the Muppets and Hello Cheeky. Do people really say that? Um, no. So, so, uh, you, you, I want to lend my copy to Steve. Here, Steve, do you want, do you want a copy of my book? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a digital copy on your Kindle. Now what do you do? Why would I get it on a Kindle? It's a comic on proper paper, you know, that you can put on a shelf. Well, why would you get a Kindle version? Let's just say that you've got a Kindle version. We're doing a lot of just saying today. Just say I wrote a book. Just say you wanted to lend it to Steve, the thieving lazy git. Just say you got it on your Kindle instead of getting a proper copy, which, by the way, would be like saying, oh, shall I get that limited edition David Hockney print and stick it on my wall in a frame? Or, or should I get a stamp and keep it in my phone? That's not a perfect analogy. I, I know it's not. You've got me flustered. And you were decimating our Kindle sales. The book's just is good on Kindle folks on sale on time for Christmas it is on sale in time for Christmas now you've got my book on your Kindle but it is just as good yeah except of course I've got my original copy signed at a comic convention yeah 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 so the point is you doubled in value yeah get him to sign your Kindle good luck there the point is you've got my book on your Kindle because you're not some anally retentive comic collector who's bought it and got it signed so it'll immediately appreciate in value. Though obviously that would happen. And you want to lend it to your mate Steve. So what do you do? What I do is I lend him my Kindle. You lend it? Yeah, I don't want it. I've got the book. Supposing you don't want to lend him your Kindle. You want to hang on to your Kindle. And you want to lend the book to Steve. Then, then I copy my copy of the book to his Kindle. Ah! But he's not got a Kindle. He's got an incompatible ebook reader. Then he's an idiot. Buy the book, Steve. Go and buy a copy of the book. Why can I not just copy my copy of the damn book to his stupid toy speak and spell ebook reader? Because of digital rights management. So, what have we learned? We've learned that everybody should just buy the book. Otherwise, you'll explain digital rights management to me. And I can't stand it. Ah. By saying, I can't stand it, you're quoting Singing in the Rain. And what you've done there is copyright infringement, which is the precursor of digital rights. Shut up! You know, this reminds me of the torture scene in George Orwell's 1984. Really? Yes, I've got a copy of it here on my Kindle. I'll just have it. Oh, 
it appears to have disappeared. This explanation of digital rights management was brought to you by the Scottish Falsetto Stock Puppet Theatre's comic book, issue one of which is available now, and issue two of which will be available in time for Christmas in print and on the Kindle. In print and on the Kindle. Thank <laughs> you.